And, and now it's going together to, our, to uh, inspire all of us. Last night was the third annual Connecting with Community Awards celebration at the Gerald R. Ford Museum. And we have been showing you all of the finalists right here on 8 West. And we're pleased to have our winners in the studio with us today. A great organization, Kids Food Basket. That's right. And they've been providing sack lunches, sack suppers for children who may not be able to eat before they go home from school mm -hmm. or, you know, don't have this the opportunity. This is their, their evening dinner. That's right. And we've got Mary Kay Hood Hood, of course, a lady who is no stranger to those of us who uh, are familiar with 8 West. And of course, we also have a great partner with your organization, Amway Corporation, Krista Roischlein, and Eva Gary Cooper. Eva, let's start with you and talk about the Con Connecting with Community Awards. Exactly what is this? Well, you know, this is our campaign every year. We selected eight finalists and we've been showing them over the course of the last few weeks is including here on 8 West and this is the celebration this is when they all come together and all our partners our CEOs actually select the winners so that's Huntington Metro Art Van Furniture and Grand Valley State University so they vote independently and last night it's like the winner is so it's like the Academy Awards for community it's really it's amazing to sit in the audience because they're we're celebrating everyone's work and we're learning about so many unique little um, organizations and efforts that you know nobody really knew about so it was really kind of a celebration of everyone's work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we also get to announce the ones that were chosen as the recipients, the Kids Food Basket. That's amazing. Now, you do something so special for our community. Tell us a little bit about the organization. Well, Kids Food Basket started 10 years ago when a principal at Sibley School, she said Sibley, now she was at straight, caught kids digging through the trash looking for food. So she did her due diligence, went around talking to the other principals and social workers, etc., and found out that there is indeed a lot of kids that were going home hungry, going home and they were hungry at home. Many of them were not eating a meal till the next day at school. So we started feeding 125 kids a sack supper. These kids take this a meal home with them or the after school programs or, or to the babysitter, wherever they go. We've done a lot of research about what's going on and it's poverty. Mm -hmm. So people can't stretch their dollars to feed their kids. So it costs a dollar a day to feed a child and we are now feeding 3,800 children. Which is incredible wow. and you do that by an army of volunteers. 150 a day. Yeah. Wonderful people come morning, noon, and night, every day of the week, to either pack sack suppers or make sandwiches or repack food if it's in bulk. Wonderful people. So you started 10 years ago. Nine years ago, you actually had a great new partner step forward to really help you maximize. Right, Amway has been with us through thin days and thick days. And the most recent thing, and where we're just delighted, is they built these tables that have made us get more food out the door faster. So it's really a wonderful thing, and it's helped us tremendously. Uh -huh. Wow, it's just incredible because the need really is so great here, even in West Michigan. I think a lot of people forget that, and you are just doing such tremendous work and helping. And people could actually volunteer. You have a ton of volunteers, but you can always oh, use more. Oh, yeah, we always need more volunteers. We have 11 schools on our waiting list. We now have a new program. We had four schools that were on our waiting list for quite a long time. So now we're feeding those kids on the weekend. So on Fridays, we have a big bag that goes to those four schools also. So tell us about how the Amway partnership works. What is it that you are able to provide to help this organization move so much more efficiently? We do day-to-day uh, -day teams come in and, and do actually make the sack suppers. Um, what she was talking about with the increase in, in the capacity, we came in and looked at the existing facility and how can we streamline this and make throughput a lot higher so that they're able to feed a lot more kids. So. Um, the waiting list is long and has been, I think, since day one, and so it's always been an effort to figure out what is the next bottleneck and how can we clear that so that we can feed more kids. That is really great. So, Eva, tell us about what the organization actually wins, because it was interesting. I was talking to Mary Kay a little bit, and she said, this is the best part, what we win. Yeah. Yes. It's not money, but it's something that really well, is almost more valuable. That, um, it's something we can give, mm -hmm. and our partners get behind it. It's the awareness. I mean, right now, we're producing a congratulatory promo, congratulating them, but we will 
produce their own customized public service announcement, a 30-second spot that will air on all three of our stations, WOOD, WOTV, and WXSP, for a full year. And that kind of awareness, they, the production, the airtime, most of these nonprofits just couldn't afford that. Right. So yeah. the awareness of it and being able to tout what they're, how they're connecting with community, that's kind of our gift and also supported by the partners for the airtime, which is fabulous. Yeah, which is wonderful. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much, Eva. I love this program. Oh, I do too. Krista, of course, the uh, Amway Corporation, such a great corporate citizen, and Mary Kay. Of course, we just can't commend you enough for your vision and, of course, all of the people who help you do what you do every single well, we day. Can't do without the community and we are thankful for this and we know the awareness will help us tremendously. Fantastic. So well thank great. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Yes, we'll be right back. We're Kids Food Basket and we're the 2011 Connecting with Community Award winners. And we're last! <laughs>